Well, Eric, we are one week away from the Nevada caucuses, and early voting is now underway. Several 2020 Democrats rallying supporters there today, including New Hampshire primary winner Bernie Sanders and former VP Joe Biden, who hopes to rebound from poor showings in Iowa and New Hampshire. Ellison Barber is also in Vegas, and she has the latest from there. Hi, Ellison. Hey, Arthel, six candidates are going to be in Las Vegas tonight for a kickoff to caucus gala. One person who will not be there is former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Remember, he is skipping the early states, though he is pretty close to qualifying for the debate here uh, in Nevada. Even though he is not physically in this state today, he is still dominating headlines across the country for things that he has done in the past and things that he could do in the future. Uh, Bloomberg has been accused of sexism and gender discrimination in the workplace for years. He has dealt with those allegations on and off, uh, dating back, you know, really to the early 90s. He's been accused of making inappropriate comments to and about women working for him, enabling a hostile work environment as company Bloomberg LP. The Washington Post got a hold of depositions and interviews with witnesses that give us a whole lot of insight, new insight into the allegations. Uh, they spoke to a former Bloomberg employee who said he witnessed a conversation in the mid 90s where Bloomberg, upon learning an employee was pregnant, told her to, quote, kill it before seeming to complain about the number of pregnant employees. She had mentioned to some of her girlfriends there and others that she was pregnant and Mike had just got, gone there too to get some coffee and kind of when she mentioned that some of the the, girl, the girlfriends were kind of congratulating her and Mike said are you going to kill it and that kind of um, shut everybody up on every important issue he does that woman did sue bloomberg and the company bloomberg denied the allegation under oath and reportedly reached a confidential settlement with the woman the bloomberg campaign perhaps responding to that article posted a video on twitter featuring women who worked with bloomberg talking about their positive experiences with him all of that as the website Drudge Report says Bloomberg is considering Hillary Clinton as a running mate after polling showed the pairing would be a formidable force. A week ago, Hillary Clinton was asked about the idea of being someone's vice president. Here's what she had to say. If someone asked you to be a uh, vice president, would you do it? <laughs> uh, well, that's not going to happen. In a statement provided to Fox News, Bloomberg's communications director did not exactly refute the Drudge Report, but he said this, quote, we are focused on the primary and the debate, not VP speculation. Arthel. Ellison Barber, live in Vegas. Thank you, Ellison.